What is the primary function of blood in the human body? The options are transportation of oxygen and nutrients, digestion of food, maintenance of body temperature and none of the above. So what is the primary function? The important function of blood in the human body? And the answer is answer number A and that is transportation of oxygen and nutrients. Friends, blood's primary function is to transport oxygen and nutrients to cells throughout the body. Question number two, which component of blood is responsible for carrying oxygen to the body's tissues? Options are red blood cells, white blood cells, platelets and plasma. So which one of these is responsible carrying oxygen to the body's tissues? The answer is red blood cells. Red blood cells known as erythrocytes carry oxygen from the lungs to tissues and organs as well. So let's move on to the question number third. The ABO blood typing system classifies blood into how many major groups? The ABO blood typing system classifies blood into how many major groups? Answers are 2, 3, 4 and 5. The correct answer is answer number B and that is 3. Friends, the ABO system classifies blood into three major groups and those are A, B and O. Let's move on to the next question. What is the liquid portion of blood called as? What do you call the part of the blood that is in liquid portion, liquid form? Your answers are red blood cells, white blood cells, platelets and plasma. The right answer is plasma. Friends, plasma is the liquid component of blood that carries cells, nutrients, hormones and waste products. So, right answer is plasma is a liquid portion of a blood. Friends, if the video is helping you, if you are enjoying the video, then please do support us by liking and subscribing our channel. Thank you. Let's continue again. Red blood cells are also known as, so what is the other name of red blood cells? Answers are leukocytes, thrombocytes, erythrocytes or neutrophils. The correct answer is erythrocyte. The red blood cells are also known as erythrocytes. Friends, red blood cells or erythrocytes are responsible for oxygen transport as we have seen in the previous question. Now let's move on to the next question and that is which type of blood cell are responsible for the body's immune response? Your answers are red blood cells, white blood cells, platelets and plasma. So which type of blood cells are responsible for our immune response? And the answer is white blood cells that is known as WBC. Friends, the white blood cells are also called as leukocytes play a crucial role in the body's immune defense, right? Hope you understood. Let's move on to the next question. What is the primary function of platelets in the blood? What do the platelets do in our blood? What do they do? being in blood? Your answers are oxygen transport, blood clotting, immune response and hormone production. And the right answer, the platelets in our blood, they perform blood clotting. Platelets are vital for the formation of blood clots to prevent extra or excessive bleeding. Right? Let's move on to the next question. Which vitamin is essential for blood clotting? So which vitamin is required in the body that actually stop blood clotting? That actually stops bleeding and make blood to get clot? 
you also serve vitamin A and vitamin C, vitamin D and vitamin K. The correct answer is vitamin K. Friends, vitamin K is necessary for the synthesis of blood clotting factors, right? Hope you got. Let's move on to the next question. Which blood type is considered the universal donor? So which type of blood is known as universal donor? The answers are A, B, AB and O. And the correct answer is O. Friends, blood type O is considered the universal donor because it lacks A or B antigens. Let's move on to the next question. What is the term for the process of transferring blood from one person to another? So what do you call that process wherein the blood can be transformed from one person to another? The answers are blood donation, blood coagulation, blood transfusion or hematopoiesis. The answer is blood transfusion. Friends, blood transfusion is the process of transferring blood from a donor to a recipient. Let's go the next type of question and that is anemia is a condition characterized by a deficiency of. So lack of what the anemia conditions occur? Answers are red blood cells, white blood cells, platelets or plasma. The answer is red blood cells. So friends, anemia is a condition where there is a shortage of red blood cells that leads to reduced oxygen carrying capacity. And then the anemia kind of situation occurs in the body. Let's move on to the next question. What is the normal range for systolic blood pressure in adults? Answers are 60 to 80 mmHg, 120 by 140, 90 by 110 or 140 to 160. Answer is 120 to 140 mmHg. The normal range for systolic blood pressure in adults typically 120 by 140. Right. Let's move to the next question. Which chamber of the heart pumps oxygenated blood to the rest of the body? So which chamber? We all know that we have four chambers in our heart. So among them, which chamber actually pumps the oxygenated blood to the rest of the body? Your answers are right atrium, right ventricle, left atrium or left ventricle. The answer is left ventricle. The left ventricle is responsible for pumping oxygenated blood to the entire body tissues. So let's move on to the next question. The formation of an abnormal blood clot within a blood vessels is known as. Your answers are hemorrhage thrombosis, embolism or aneurysm. Answer is thrombosis. Friends, thrombosis refers to the formation of abnormal blood clots within blood vessels, right? The next question is, how often can a typical adult donate whole blood? So how often we can do that being an adult? The answer is every two weeks we can donate. Every three months we can donate or once in a year or only once in a lifetime. The answer is every three months. A typical adult can donate whole blood every three months, right? Hope you got it. Let's go for the next question. What is the approximate percentage of blood in the human body relative to body weight? So what percentage of blood can be there to compare body weight of a human being? The answers are 10%, 20%, 30% as well as 40%. The right answer is 30%. The blood makes approximately 30% of an individual body weight, right? So the 30% of body weight can be our blood in our body. Let's move on to the next question. In addition to transportation and clotting, what other function does blood perform? So what is the other job of our blood apart from transporting and clotting? 
Your answers are Harmon production, temperature regulations, no transmission or digestion. The answer is Harmone production. Blood also plays a role in the production and transport of hormones throughout the body. Right? Okay, let's move on to the next question. Approximately how many liters of blood are there in the average adult human body? So in our body, what is the percentage of blood? I'm going to say how many liters of blood? Answer is 1 liter, 5 liters, 10 liters as well as 20 liters. The right answer is 5 liter. The average adult human body contains about 5 liters of blood. Let's move on to the next question. Which blood type can receive blood from any other blood type? So what kind of blood of a person or in a person can receive blood from any other blood type? Option A group, B group, C group, sorry, A group, B group, AB or O. The answer is AB. Blood type AB is considered the universal recipient and can receive blood from, from any other blood type. Right, so let's move on to the next question. What is the medical term for low platelet count in the blood? When there is a low platelets in the blood, so what do you call that medical situation, medical term? What kind of word is used to describe that situation? Your answer is anemia, leukemia, thrombocytopenia, hemophilia. The right answer is thrombocytopenia. It is a condition characterized by a low platelet count in the blood, leading to increased bleeding kind of risk in the human body. Friends, if this video helped you, then please support us by liking and subscribing our channel.